Hi, everybody. Karen here with the first reason why your school should be paying for you to do summer school with EY Maths this year. And I'm going to theme all of the suggestions I give around one number, and it's this number here. So first of all, what do you notice? What do you see? Let's make it a little bit clearer. There we go. Even if you don't know what this number is as a child, look at it within the 10 frame. This 10 frame isn't full yet. There's some missing. One of the earliest things children can do is to learn that this amount is called two, the bit that isn't there. Look, we can see lots of twos within this number, but eventually the relationship with that 10 tells us that whenever we see this pattern with two not there yet, that it's called an eight. It's also got lots of other things going on. And this is what is gonna be so important when the children are older, to know the things that are so obvious to your younger children. So we could look and we could see there's a four in there, a four in there, a four that way and a four that way. And the other pattern of eight is like this, a full five and three of the next five, still with two not there yet, but we need two more on that five to create two finished fives. So that knowledge is going to go on to help your children with so many things, but I'm just going to show you one of them now. So here, there's eight, and I'm going to move this up a little bit, but I'm going to put another eight under here, and I'm going to just do it in a different colour for the moment, so it's really obvious. And when we teach 10 frames, we never count on the 10 frame with my talk while we're doing it like I'm doing it, but it's important about building the pattern because we need to see the eight as the whole eight. So there's a whole eight, there's a whole eight, and we can reason because of the two not there and the two fours and even the six and the two and the four twos and so forth. So when you've got the digit eight on its own, haven't got a pen handy, we'll do that in the next one. So when you've got the digit eight like this, you can look at that all you like, but actually it's not showing the quantity eight. So when you are understanding eight within its cardinal form, it's how manyness, you need to be able to picture eight. And there's two ways, as I say, that we can do that. But for this, we're gonna use this pattern. So I'm gonna now create another eight. I could have gone down in the twos, doesn't matter how I fill it in, but I know what I'm aiming for. So you can start seeing now, that we have got eight multiplied three times or eight plus eight plus eight. So this of course is what the eight times table is about, learning what happens when we multiply eight. So here's eight here. I'm gonna add this eight to this eight. And the rule is you have to fill the 10 because that's how the base 10 system works. And it's not full yet. I can see the space for just two of these. So I'm gonna move those up there. So now I've got a full 10 and six of the next 10. So if I'm gonna write that down, got my trusty pen now, if I'm gonna write that down, if I put it over here, what can I see? One full 10 and six of the next 10, not six more, not one 10 and six ones. You could argue that's one 10 and six ones, but by saying one 10 and six of the next 10, you know that this six, you can picture it on the 10 frame and you can think about what goes with that six to complete a new 10. Because we're gonna add another eight on here and we've got a space for four of these. So they're gonna go up there. And now, so let's start off. We started off with eight. Then we had a full 10 and six of the next 10. Now half of the eight's gone up here and I know there are two fours and eights. So there's only four on the next 10 frame. So what have I got? two full 10 frames and four of the next 10. You don't need to say 10 frames, but two full 10s or two finished 10s and four of the next 10. If we had another eight, we know what eight looks like. Look, six of it can fit here and two are going to be on the next 10. So we would have three full 10s and two of the next 10. Look at what's happening here. Look at this final digit pattern. Why is that happening? And why will we be able to fit another whole eight on when we add the next eight and it would take us back to zero there? That is the kind of maths that your key stage two children are going to be able to use, so your seven to 11 year olds, because of what we learn in the summer school, because of the foundations that I will give your teachers. And believe me, that is the tip of the iceberg.